Hello everyone, uh, Anubhuti here from Sensitive.com. Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, welcome. So today we are going to do a shop my stash slash focus products for the January month uh, kind of video. I have been doing project planning since uh, end of 2019. Uh, I documented on my uh, Instagram page at the rate my planning stories uh, but I've never done kind of proper project plan uh, or anything I just to use a product but this year I have decided to focus uh, on my makeup product uh, so that I can get more use out of them because some I have bought a lot of makeup products <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah so but uh, due to pandemic uh, lots of products are lying unused and uh, my goal is to get more use out of my product so uh, yeah I've decided to do uh, shop my stash kind of videos uh, it is very common in project planning uh, community to do shop my stash or focus products for the month kind of videos. So um, yeah, I've uh, decided to do that uh, and uh, it's not going to be a traditional shop my stash kind of video where I show you all my inventory and then pick up products from it. I kind of have been using these products for this month. Uh, I am quite late uh, to do this video because it's almost end of January uh, but yeah I I wanted just to uh, document it uh, so yeah here we go so I will start uh, mentioning it in the order I do my makeup so, so for the primer I have this Inamasca uh, Beyond Veil Skin Glowing Gel so this is uh, a sample size uh, which I got it in my uh, Look Fantastic box which I got free with my Look, Look Fantastic order. I have been using it this month so there is very little left and I think I will be done with this in the uh, month of January. So that is why I decided to pick this one up. I do not have many primers in my uh, in my uh, stash or in my inventory so I to tend to pick up one primer use it up and then switch on to next so yeah this is my um, primer for the month of January for the foundation I have a L'Oreal Puri Glam Beige Healthy Glow Foundation and uh, the reason again why this is in my stash is because th there is very little left of it I have been using it since uh, summer this is very lightweight foundation and the shade uh, is light it's quite yellow toned uh, and it is slightly dark for me uh, for the winter months but I still wanted to use it up. I think this should be finished uh, in this month so that is again my uh, foundation for this month. Coming to the powder I had a MAC uh, Studio Fix uh, powder foundation in shade NC25 in my stash and uh, it has very little product left and I have already used it up so um, but yeah I did use it up in January month so that was my first powder and after that I started uh, using this uh, Rimmel London stay matte powder uh, in shade 001 transparent and uh, this is was a, this was brand new and uh, why I like this powder for winter months is because it is very it is not heavy duty it's very lightweight and with powder brush you can just apply a light layer of it and just blend everything in next comes uh, the blush uh, so for blush I am I have again brought back my uh, revolution blush palette in sugar and spice this is honestly <laughs> I have brought back again my blush palette uh, revolution blush palette in sugar and spice this is honestly my most loved and used and abused palette uh, blush palette I absolutely love this one because it has some neutral tones some warmer peach blushes and then a hot pink a baked blush and a baked highlighter I already have a pan and highlighter and why I chose to use this because this is a proper based highlighter and I can use it uh, only in the winter months uh, and also the cool tone brush blushes so and I uh, have the impression I'm not sure if you are able to see it or not but I have pan impressions visible so I think uh, I can hit pan on especially the neutral blushes so that is my uh, goal uh, 
I have not touched this blush palette in 2021 a lot because in 2020 I was using this as a face palette for the year so yeah uh, so I just want to give uh, it a little bit more love also I do plan to because the packaging is quite broke uh, and then I yeah my plan is to um, depot all these blushes uh, yeah and use this more so this was my blush palette for the month coming to the bronzer and highlighter so uh, this is my um, Too Faced one of the holiday palettes uh, it came in one of the holiday palettes in 2019 uh, so this is a uh, um, bronzer and highlighter duo so it has chocolate soleil bronzer and angel wings highlighter i just want to use the bronzer i was using uh, the medium dark bronzer chocolate soleil before and i had pan in 2021 december so yeah i then i moved that out of the pan because it's too dark at the moment and then i moved this bronzer and uh, the highlighter yeah so the goal is to use this highlighter for the month of january coming to eyeshadow palettes so yeah i have one of my custom eyeshadow palettes which has my lacme quad uh, and uh, one of the sugar cosmetic quads i have depotted so these four shades are quite mauvey berry toned and then uh, cool toned uh, pinks and brown and then i have a purple shade which is from natasha denona i got it as a freebie in one of my orders and then these shades are from uh, let me quad so yeah this is going to be uh, one of the palettes i'm going to be using uh, this month i've been using quite a lot these shades and then uh, these four palettes uh, these are from essence so these are essence six pen palettes so i have four of these uh, in like blue green uh, bronze and mauve i quite like these uh, cool tones in the winter months and overall so i have actually quite used this one quite a lot this month so yeah this is the mauve one this is the bronze palette again it's a little bit warm toned uh, but I yeah I love using this one and uh, the blue one I have not used much I have used it only twice basically I love these uh, shimmer shades here so yeah this is the blue one and the green one also I used quite a lot especially I love this shade uh, this green and this green these shimmers are like very beautiful on the eyes and the last eyeshadow palette which is focused for this month is another oldie but goodie color pop yes please palette i still have the very uh primary additions when they did not have the names in the palette inside the palette so yeah i have uh this i have used quite a lot i'm not that into warm tones so i did use quite a lot of these shades but uh, this has been lying untouched for about a year now uh, so then I wanted to get more use out of this palette and since I have picked up quite a lot dark colors I wanted something lighter also to complement it with so yeah this is the last palette color pop yes please now coming to the brow products I do not have many brow products open at one point of time I just keep one brow pencil and one brow gel open at one time one point of time so I have finished recently my brow pencil and brow gel uh, which is essence brow gel uh, is mostly what i like to use for my brows but i have re recently finished it, used it up and then uh, currently i'm using ColourPop precision brow pencil black and brown and ColourPop brow boss gel so this is uh, what i am using uh, in month of january and i do plan to use these until i just finish it up so this is what I have on my brows today. So yeah, that is about the brows. Coming to, oh, for eyeliners uh, and coal. I like to wear coal on my eyes. And then, um, so I have one black and one brown. So black one is uh, Maybelline Colossal Super Black. The brown one is Wet n Wild Breakproof Waterproof uh, Retractable Eyeliner. 
the shade is black brown so i like these two uh, for everyday use and uh, this com these complement almost all the eyeshadow palettes i picked up so yeah i've been using these two for mascara i have again two options one brown and one black i have been using uh, l'oreal voluminous lash paradise mascara black and then the brown one is essence i love extreme crazy volume brown mascara these are the two i am using at the moment again mascaras also i like to keep uh, one open at a time so one black one brown is fine by me uh, so yeah these are mascara so in the lip lip category i have only two lip liners uh, picked up for the focus of this month uh, one is one was in my uh, project pan the past project in last uh, month and it has a uh, very little uh, product left so the goal is to focus uh, on this more and i do plan to use it up this year and for the brown one this is like the brownish beige uh, lip liner uh, which is from Deborah milano the shade is 03 yeah so i did use one pinky nude and one brownie nude peachy nude kind of lip liners and i did not pro uh, pick any lipsticks uh, as focus uh, products for this month maybe i'll do it uh, next month those are all my focus products for the month of january thank you for watching and let me know if you uh, like this video or if you would like to uh, see more such videos in the future i also have a project pan uh, plan for this year and i have already started it so i am planning to do an intro uh, of uh, my project plans uh, which i'm doing this year so yes yeah, stay tuned for that i am again late for it uh, late to film it i have already few uh, products uh, for which i have hit goal on so i'll stop blabbering now and then stay tuned for more such videos and uh, thank you again for watching do not forget to subscribe and like this video